Hello and good morning, LinkedIn. Occipital released a new firmware update for their structure core camera sensor at uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, and the firmware 0.9.6 in their new core playground, which you can uh, see make and then launch in Visual Studio on Windows and Mac uh, platform systems. So you'll see that core playground actually right here. And then on this side, I'm, com I'm comparing a time of flight sensor, the, the PMD Pico Flex at 50 frames per second. Uh, and then above here, you'll see some machine learning algorithms that are segmenting and classifying um, myself and then the, uh, the background and foreground. Some of the upgrades on the firmware uh, for the camera sensor system, for me, the, one of the bigger ones is the calibration constant. So before it was just a single shot. Uh, now it's a continuous calibration. I actually mentioned this to Noah Zirkin when he was developing his project North Star system because it was drifting and losing calibration. Now that issue is resolved if you, lose the, if you use the latest firmware and SDK. And look at the two comparisons here on how the system actually works in the frame rates. I, I believe if you're looking at the depth there on the, on the sample, this side is at about 15 to 20 frames per second. This side's at about 50 frames per second. So a little bit faster. Right, but the structure core can be changed to either very near, uh, near, medium, long, and hybrid modes, and I'll showcase those to you guys here in a moment. But some of the other changes they made is you can, on the fly, save an save an image and output it directly to a POI file, and you can also record an OCC file and then access all that information um, later and, and and recreate point clouds and depth information and pull it into a to an app application. But let me show you the, some of the options within the uh, Core Playground application. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this stream. And what you'll see on the left-hand side is the options. So you'll see uh, Q, QVGA 320-240, VGA 640-480, and X, SXGA 1280-960. Now, this changes the frame rate. So if you lower that to QVGA uh, at 320-240, you can up... Uh, you can increase the frame rates up to 60 frames per second, and then obviously if you have the higher resolution, that goes down a bit. But some of the depth range modes I want you to focus on here. So very short, uh, short, medium, long, very long, hybrid, and default. Those change, and it, again, it's up to 0.3, very, very close to your face, out to 10 meters. I think the default is at 5 meters. They've also added a default uh, correction, um, or the depth correction, and this continuous versus one-shot dynamic calibration mode. That's pretty cool, but let's go ahead and just relaunch this at short, and I'll show you what that is down near the bottom. You can also stream the visible uh, streams for, for the camera, uh, the stream, the infrared streams, uh, the active cameras. You can select left, right, or both. You can sync the frames, stream the accelerometer and gyroscope, refresh rates and latency, and select the initial uh, uh, inertial measurement unit IMU sample rates from 100 hertz to 1,000 hertz. So let me just change this to short and let's launch this one more time so you guys can kind of see the difference now this is going out a little bit further than one before uh just modifying it but you know this this particular uh occipital structure core sensor is being used in misty robotics uh for their vision based systems for their perception engine is what they call it uh it's also being used in cura ar it's a headset um that you know, a, a, a company is developing down in San Francisco, uh, and you can, and, and also with the Project North Star and Noah Zirkin, he's using the Perception Engine for uh, simultaneous localization and mapping um, for spatial awareness uh, when you're using the a mixed reality headset. But I just wanted to showcase this to you guys so you can see the differences uh, between you know time of flight on this side and then um, you know laser projection, a class one laser. From the occipital core it's using twice as many infrared dots as the original structure sensor that they had before which i absolutely loved um, so download it today if you have any questions at all reach out to me and let me know i'd be more than happy to help thank you guys hope you have a wonderful morning